Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Moss Jackson. Welcome to Mondays with Moss. So anyway, um, we are moving pretty close to the first first year, first year, as if it's going to be more than a year, I hope not, of this uh, pandemic. And I, I was thinking about um, uh, just what we've been going through, all of us, and what we're going towards. And I'm reading a book called, I think it's by Albert Camus, on the plague, not this plague, but a previous plague. And I've been thinking about, you know, viruses have existed for thousands of years, if not millions of years. I think in our, since historical time, there have been 30 uh, viruses that have been pretty devastating to mankind. And it points to something, which I think is important that may be obvious, which is we really have very limited control as human beings. You know, we as humans want certain things and need certain things like basically control, safety, and peace of mind. And um, we're going through a transition, okay? We're moving from things were reasonably okay in life, then this virus hit and really just exponentially exploded. Um, I think now we're losing maybe 3,000 people a day. Yes, we have a virus coming on board, but the virus is not here, so we're still going through, uh, I think, a very difficult time, dangerous time. We're in transition. Um, it, it's over, but it's not over. Isn't the vaccine, doesn't it mean we're safe? No, it doesn't. What does it really mean? I don't know what it means. That when the vaccine comes out, as soon as it comes out, I'm going to jump and take it. Um, where are we? Um, can I go out and socialize? Pro probably not, unless you follow CDC guidelines. How can I act then? I mean, we, we're moving from our life as it was, and then this virus hitting. We went into shutdown mode, went into lockdown mode. Some states have, have opened up too quickly. They go into lockdown. It's like an accordion. You know, somebody make up the damn mind and tell us what we need to do and should do. And now we're in transition of like, we know we need to wear masks. We know we need to sanitize, keep social distance. We, I mean, at least I know that. And I do trust the science from that. But I'm going to call it the in-between time. And I'm also going to suggest one way that I'm looking at this is being realistically optimistic. Realistically optimistic. I'm going to do things I need to do to maintain my health. And after all, I have an autoimmune condition. I'm older, so I'm more susceptible, you know, maybe to some younger people. But I'm going to be realistic. I'm going to do what I need to do. I uh, would wish I could be with more people and do more things, but until then, I'm going to restrict it. But I'm optimistic. I see that on the horizon, the vi vaccine's coming out in, you know, over the next few months, December, January, February, March, I'll have an opportunity to take the vaccine, and then I'll get on with my life, whatever that looks like. I'm going to call that realistic optimism. So anyway, getting back to uh, my program, uh, which is Mondays with Moss. I've been talking about living an extraordinary, li extraordinary life. And truthfully, we've been going through an extraordinarily stressful time. We've been going through enough stress that I'm going to call it ch chronic stress conditions, a chronic stress syndrome. And each of us have tr been trying to figure out how to get through this. So I'm going to suggest what I'm going to do for the next 12 weeks, based upon a book I wrote in 2010, 52 Things You Need to Know, uh, I'm going to call this new segment of my work for the next several months, one week at a time, one week at a time, just something we can do, I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you about a recent thing that I decided to do. Uh, it's called Getting Grounded. This week it's about getting grounded, getting grounded. I'll tell you about that in a second. So I want to tell you about a recent experience. I woke up today um, feeling kind of anxious. Often when I wake up, I ask myself, on a scale of 1 to 10, what's my level of anxiety? 10 is being very anxious, 1 is being not very anxious at all. And it was about, about an 8, maybe a 7. And I, I, I watched my mind go. I said, okay, mind, what am I anxious about? What do you want me to know? And it went into a whole bunch of stuff. Went into when's this going to be over? What's going to happen to my practice? When my lease is up? You know, are we going to move? I, I got 2,000 bucks in my office, what am I going to do with them, what am I going to do with all my paintings, uh, can I get another space as beautiful as the one I have now, um, 
medically, how am I doing? Am I going to be healthy in three, four, five, six years? Oh my goodness. It was like, I just watched my mind. It was like saying to me, come on, Moss, worry, 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 worry. So um, what are you waking up to? What do you notice when you get up in the morning? How do you act? You jump out of bed? Are you even aware that you're stressed? Maybe you wake up and you're, you're totally relaxed. But I did realize over the last few weeks I've been more anxious. I think it's I think it's because I'm going through a transition. I'm finishing up some medical work, and well, it feels like I'm in the transition of this uh, pandemic. Okay, so when I woke up, I said, "Okay, I'm, I'm very clear. I'm feeling anxious." But then I thought to myself, "Well, I have 52 things I can do. I have a whole bunch of." techniques and strategies and practices. So why don't I go to my book, uh, 52 Things You Need to Know, and start working on that and maybe present it to you and see if you like it. So I'm going to do it for 12 weeks, and this week is going to be getting grounded. Now, getting grounded simply means getting rid of excessive emotional energy, stress, and getting present, getting present to right now, okay? Now, many of you know that when you get anxious, it's hard to get present because your mind, your thinking takes you into dreadful places. Like I said before, as Mark Twain once said, 99% of the things you worry about never happen. All right, we worry, we anticipate, we apprehend, we do what ifs, we get catastrophic thinking, what's the worst thing that could happen? And before we know it, the fire alarm in the back of our brain that's been there for millions of years goes ring, 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 danger, 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 danger. And then we get flooded with all kinds of neurotransmitters and chemicals that flood our thinking brain and shuts down our thinking brain and we become just, we're in panic mode or anxious mode and we get emotionally hijacked. And when that happens, we're not grounded, we're off the ground, we're being yanked away by strong winds, and it's not a good feeling. And it may take you hours to calm down. Well, I think there are actions we can take. In fact, there are 52 things we can do. And this week, I'm gonna suggest, suggest take, get grounded, get grounded. Let's get rid of this excessive energy and emotionality. So I'm gonna suggest, I'll get five, five, Simple practices you can do. Yeah, take any one of them if you want to take more, that's great too. Basically, it's called stop, look, and listen. Just stop, look, and listen. Um, so you need to ground yourself in the present, especially during the day. Uh, and you can practice this. You don't have to wait until you're anxious. So what I did this morning, I got up, and before I had breakfast, I um, turned up the heat downstairs, sat in my comfortable chair, I don't think I put a blanket over my lap. I think I was okay. But then I took my pulse. My pulse was about 80, maybe 82. It was kind of rapid for me. So I, so I did 10 minutes of getting grounded. And by the time I was done, my pulse dropped down to about 67, 68 in 10 minutes. I could feel the change in my body. I could feel the chemicals in my body changing from stress hormones to I'm okay hormones. Okay? So here are some of the techniques you might try. One is, the, is five, four, three, two, one. Five, five, four, three, two, one. You look at five things you see around the room. I see a statue of an Indian. I see on my on one of the canvases I want to paint on. I see my window with the trees outside. I see a picture of my little niece. I see a picture, a painting by Peter Scawthorpe. Um, four things you hear. Oh, I hear uh, my wife moving a chair in the kitchen. I hear my voice. I hear a hum. Maybe it's tinnitus, but it's still a hum. I hear a car going by. Three things I um, uh, feel. I feel my hands on the desk. I feel my lips. I feel my shoulder muscles. Two things I... Um, smell, smell coolness, mm, I smell a touch of orange, and one thing uh, I can taste. Oh, I just had some orange juice, I can taste that. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, see, hear, feel, taste. And um, smell, I think. Okay, so that's a way of getting grounded. Now, why are you doing that? 
because it's getting you out of your mind into the present right now. It's very basic. Another one is breathing exercises. So I, I love my breathing exercises. I often do the uh, four in, hold for four, breathe out for six. Oh. I'll do that about 20 times. And I love the sigh. The sigh is very helpful because it activates a relaxation. And then I often what I'll do is I will um, uh, do a body awareness. I might check in with my body and say, okay, let me check in with my head. Am I feeling any tension? Forehead, eyes, jaw, neck, shoulders, move my wrist, my elbows. I'm kind of introducing myself to my body, letting my body know I care about it. Remember the Tin Man in the Wizard of Oz? He was all squeaky, he couldn't move, he was paralyzed because of more, uh, rust, and Dorothy had to oil him, but when she oiled him, he started to move. Well, by recognizing parts of your body, in a way you're oiling, oiling the parts of your body, and you're recognizing them, and it helps, helps us get stabilized and calm. Okay, so what is that? Five, four, three, two, one is one, breathing is two. What are you aware of in your body? Three, another good one is be aware of what you're feeling. If you're feeling anxious, say, I'm, I'm feeling scared, feeling nervous, feeling tense, maybe I'm feeling tense about, give it a rating, one to 10, and then simply ask yourself a question. I wonder how I'm gonna feel when this tension goes away. I wonder how I'm gonna feel when this tension goes away. The brain loves it when you ask it something positive, not I wonder how it's gonna get worse. I wonder how I'm gonna feel when it goes away, okay? And I guess the last one could be, um, I wonder what I'm gonna notice about this tension in my body if it, if it shows up today. I wonder what I'm gonna notice. And when, if it, whatever you notice, you can write it down, okay? Uh, what's going on, rate it, one to 10, um, uh, feel it in your body, perhaps breathe into your body. It's a way of like, all these are, are simple techniques. You don't have to use all five about getting grounded. So getting grounded is about getting rid of this excess tension. And remember, the brain likes when you anticipate pleasure, when you become curious about your tension. Um, and, and what we're doing is we're waking up our thinking brain and moving into observation and curiosity. And for some reason, that quiets down the worrisome brain. So basically, folks, the one action I'm suggesting you take this week is just get grounded. Get grounded, five, four, three, two, one. Do some good breathing. Check in with your body. Do some writing down of things that are bothering you or and I, I wonder what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna notice about getting upset, and really important, I wonder how I'm gonna feel when the tension goes away. Because once you let the body, brain know, you're anticipating what you, that you're aware, and you're, uh, you know it is gonna go away. You're not saying, I wish it will, I hope it will go, please, please go away. You're saying, I wonder what I'm gonna notice, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna notice when it goes away. Anyway, those are simple five techniques you can use for getting grounded. Now that's it for the week, that is it. Okay, that is Mondays with Moss, nothing more complicated than that. Um, and each week I'm gonna give you another, another skill for not just getting through this transition, but just a practice you can practice to, to, to maintain and create peace of mind, a sense of I'm okay, to start to quiet down your brain. Your brain's not gonna quiet down because things out in the external world are, are gonna quiet down. Yeah, we will get through this plague. Yeah, we will get a vaccine, but life is life. And sometimes life is stressful. All right, folks, that's it for today. Be grounded. See ya.